I'm driven by the commitment that knowledge is the best way of advancing the human condition. Nobel Prize is not the only one for Singapore to look at. The research we are doing must be misdriven. The value of science R&D for any nation is really the foundation of prosperity. Innovation must not stop in Singapore. Innovation must be global. You need to continue to have a spirit of constructive discontent so you constantly have to say, we can do better. Over the years, we've collaborated very closely with Duke NUS. We created the Singh Health Duke NUS Academic Medical Center. We mooted the idea of academic clinical programs. We created joint institutes, and that ignites exciting research endeavors. We also hired internationally acclaimed researchers. They mentored our people and attracted them to become clinician scientists. Academic medicine effectively is trying to push the boundaries in medicine. It was with much excitement and humility that SGH was named in the top 10. That's certainly an achievement, not just for our AMC, but really for Singapore. When I was first invited to go to Singapore, the focus was on why did Singapore have a growing problem of diabetes emerging in young people. I was asked to develop a research strategy and that led ultimately to the invitation to join SICS. Gusto is, without a doubt, the most detailed modern birth cohort that exists. And we saw three of the major nutrition companies in the world undertake major activities in Singapore. The success we had led to the development of the Clinical Nutrition Research Centre and we rapidly developed the talents attracted to an extraordinary array of research associates. The work that Singapore is now leading in this space is critical to both the future capital of Singaporeans, but also has global implications. Our breakthrough is the development materials allow us to fabricate this kind of flexible sensors to achieve high sensitivity, stability, and also for long-term monitoring. Because current this kind of device is kind of rigid, cannot be bent, cannot conform to the dynamic nature of human tissue or human organ. My technology has allowed us to get biological signal from forearm muscle signals, which one can use to control the prosthetics and help our stroke patient to recover the sense capability. By 2030, one out of four Singaporeans will be 65 above. All our flexible sensors is enabling technology to help Singapore to develop next generation healthcare technology. You know, I'm a professor in the Emerging Infectious Disease Program, so basically our focus is really get ready for events like COVID-19. We found that in the last 25 years, most of these deadly viruses come from bats. And so through the study of bat-borne viruses, we discovered that bats have six different mechanisms to dampen inflammation. And now we're using bats as a model you know, for human disease, like inflammation disease, infection disease. The most exciting recent discovery is that we found that from SARS survivors, when they received the Pfizer vaccine, they created something we call a super immunity. This could be the dream vaccine that can prevent us against future SARS coronavirus like SARS-3 and the SARS-4. So we have developed a platform technology they can measure these very small molecules called microRNA. Our assay is very sensitive, it's ultra sensitive, and that allows us to discover markers for different diseases with small sample size. So gastroclea is actually a test that can tell you whether you have early stage gastric cancer. What we have established is the world's first standard for microRNA diagnostics. Our know-how to optimize and produce biomarkers have allowed us to work very closely with ASTAR in the early days of the pandemic. We can produce then very quickly ramp up to hundreds of thousands to millions. 
and that not only serves Singapore, then we begin to distribute around the world. And today, this product is rolled out to more than 45 countries around the world. It was always our dream to bring the best healthcare possible to Singapore. You cannot find a second place like Singapore to do research. This is what made me who I am today. A lot of people have forgotten that Singapore is actually a land of miracle. We should capitalize on that and say everything can be done. After 20, 30 years of effort, we now have a critical mass of first-class scientists, multidisciplinary, in one island nation. R&D has proven to be a remarkable strategic choice. It's led to a country which is recognized around the world. 